Hey, what's up guys? It's Darkroom Duels, and today I'm going to be doing a Evil Eye deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this one because it's a really fun deck to play around with that actually doesn't play that many main deck monsters, which is really interesting. It's a very controlling deck. Like, it's a very control-based deck that you're going to be playing with, but it actually has a new Link monster, which is Gorgon, Empress of the Evil Eyed, which is a really awesome card that we'll get into in a little bit. So, without further ado, guys, definitely give us a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and there's come a part of notification squad and let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Sarzeel, the Watcher of the Evil Eye, which is the main monster that you're going to be summoning and using throughout the entire game that you're playing with Evil Eyes. When it's normal summon, you're going to add an Evil Eye card from your deck to your hand and then accept another copy of itself. And then if this card is equipped with the Evil Eye of Selene, quick effect, you can target one monster, one spell summon monster your opponent controls and destroy it. You can only expect once per turn and then... Um, once per turn during the next semi phase after this was activated, you get to destroy a card on the field <clears throat> that you control, which is not that big of a deal because you're going to be normally having, you know, something on the field that you're going to destroy that you're not really worried about. One copy of Medusa, Watcher of the Evil Eye. You just play a single copy of Medusa. Um, basically, her effect is is that when she's normal summon, you get to target an Evil Eye card in your graveyard, except another copy of yourself, and add it from your from your graveyard to your hand. And then if she's equipped with Evil Eye Slain, you can target a monster your opponent in your opponent's graveyard and banish it. And then you can only use your effect once per turn. Um, and then once per turn, during the next time I phase, after this was activated, banish a card in your graveyard. Again, not that big of a deal because you're not worried about banishing things if it's in your graveyard. I play a single copy of Basilisk Familiar of the Evil Eye. I just play the single copy of it because if you control an Evil Eye monster, you can spell summon this card from your hand. Um, and you can only expect during, once per turn. And during your next, during your main phase, you can send an Evil Eye card from your spell and trap card from your deck to the graveyard, which can be really pivotal to the deck because some of your Evil Eye cards work very well by sending them to the graveyard. Um, and then three copies of Ash Blossoms for my hand traps. That's pretty much it for the monsters. You can play more hand traps, but I lean a little bit more heavily on my spells and traps in this particular build, where I'm going to be playing a lot of um, control-based spells and traps. But you definitely can play Ghost Ogres, Phantasmes, if you have Phantasmes. Um, you know, stuff like that. Effect Veilers and stuff like that. If you want to play that, that's totally fine, but I just wanted to focus more along the lines of my spells and traps controlling and pose to my monsters. So that's it for the monsters. Only seven monsters in the entire deck, which is kind of crazy to me. But for the rest of the deck, we're going to be playing a single copy of Terraforming. Uh, Terraforming lets us add Pareidolia, which is the copy of the field spell Evil Eye Domain. You're going to want to add that to your hand because when you activate it, you get to add an Evil Eye monster directly from your hand. So it kind of bumps us up to 10 Evil Eye or 10 monsters in the deck. Um, two copies of Super Polymerization. I played the two copies of Super Poly because everything in the deck is dark. And you can make Starving Venom Fusion Dragon really easily with this card. And it kind of outs your opponent from doing certain things against you. And it's kind of, again, more of that control aspect. Two copies of Instant Fusion, which kind of bumps our monster count up to 12 in the deck, in a way, because you have access to monsters in the deck. Um, this card lets us put Thousand Eyes Restrict on the field by gobbling to gobble up an opponent's monster, or put Millennium Eyes Restrict on the field to make it so we can take an opponent's monster or negate hand traps on our side of the field, or your opponent's side of the field, um, and then go on with your plays. So, I then play three copies of Call by the Grave because I don't want to get hand trapped in this deck ever. Um, so, it's really important to not get hand trapped in this deck. So, you play the three copies of it. Three copies of Pot of Duality. You can change this out for Pot of Extravagance, or you can play Pot of Extravagance and Pot of Duality if you want to. But you don't usually special summon in this deck very much. So, you want to play Pot of Duality in the deck to dig deeper into the deck to get to Sarzeel. Because Sarzeel is extremely pivotal to get to the deck. Um, one copy of Evil Eye Confrontation. Confrontation is basically like MST. If you control an Evil Eye monster, you can target a spell or trap your opponent controls and then destroy it. Uh, and if you have an Evil Eye of Selene in your spell and trap card zone, you can banish the destroy card instead, which is really cool. One copy of Repose. Repose is really interesting when it's activated. Uh, when this card is activated, you can, just target a, you can banish an Evil Eye card from your graveyard to draw a card, and then once per turn after damage calculation, if your Evil Eye monster equipped with Evil Eye Selene attacked an opponent's monster, you can banish that opponent's monster, and if this card in your spell and trap card zone is destroyed by a card effect, you can target up to three of your banished Evil Eye cards and return them to the graveyard, which is pretty good as well, because sometimes you're actually going to be banishing those Evil Eye cards 
that are in your graveyard to be able to go into different plays. Two copies of Evil Eye Awakening lets you special summon Evil Eye monsters from your hand so you can go into other plays, but it also has the ability that if you have um, Evil Eye of Selene on your side of the field, you can special summon a Evil Eye monster from your deck instead, which can get you into your Sarzeal really quickly or get into other stuff like your Medusa really quickly if you need to. Then we play two copies of Evil Eye of Selene and we play two copies of the Gorgonio um, but the two copies of Selene are really important for the deck. You equip only to an Evil Eye monster, it cannot be destroyed by battle or by your opponent's card effects, and you're also your opponent got a target with card effects. And each time you activate, your opponent activates a, um, each time you activate the equipped monster's effect, or you activate another Evil Eye spell or trap card, you can, the monster you control gains 500 attack, and if it does, you lose 500 attack. And if even if this card leaves the field, and if this card is in your graveyard, you can pay a thousand life points. Then banish a Evil Eye spell or trap in your graveyard, and then accept an Evil Eye of Selene and set this card on your field. Then we play two copies of the Evil Eye um, Gorgoni, Gorgonio. Um, but basically, what this does is you equip only to an Evil Eye monster, and you can only activate one copy of it per turn. And this card's name becomes Evil Eye of Selene while on the field, while in the spell and trap card zone. And then while your opponent has lower life points than you do, the, the monster that's equipped with this card gains the difference uh, between them. And then you can banish this card from your graveyard to discard an Evil Eye card to add an Evil Eye Spell or Trap card directly from your deck to your hand, which can be really pivotal to be able to get to your copies of the Field Spell, which the Field Spell, which is Domain of the Evil, or Evil Eye Domain, when it's activated, you get to add an Evil Eye card from your deck to your hand, or Evil Eye Monster from your deck to your hand, which is always going to be Sarzeal. And then it also has the ability that once per turn during damage calculation, when your Evil Eye Monster attacks, while an Evil Eye of Selene is in your Spell and Trap card zone, you can make the battle damage you take from that battle zero if it to your opponent instead. And if this card in the Spell and Trap field zone is destroyed by a card effect, you can target an Evil Eye Monster in your Raven add it back to your hand, which usually you're going to pop that copy of your um, this card domain during your opponent's turn with Sarzeal. So if you have other copies of Sarzeal in the grave, you just get to add this right back. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're going to be playing one copy of Mesmerism. Mesmerism is not the greatest card in the deck, but it's a good card. When your opponent wants to special summon a monster, you can activate this card by targeting one of your opponent's special summon or summoned monsters in attack position with less attack than the equip a Evil Eye monster you control and take control of that monster. And then while Evil Eye Slings are in your spell and trap growth zone, that target uh, is also treated as an Evil Eye monster, which can be really pivotal to be able to link summon into something like the Empress of the Evil Eyed. Then I play one copy of Evil Eye Defeat. Evil Eye Defeat, if you control an Evil Eye monster, you can target one monster on the field and or two instead of you control Evil Eye of Selene and destroy the, and return them to the hand, which can be really pivotal. Um, two copies of Retribution, Evil Eye Retribution. When a spell or trap or is activated while you control an Evil Eye monster, negate the activation for you to destroy it. And if you have an Evil Eye of Selene, when this card you can um, this card cannot be negated if you have Evil Eye of Selene. Three copies of There Can Only Be One. There Can Only Be One is really good for controlling your opponent. Each time your opponent, um, each player can only control one monster of each type, which we're only going to be summoning fiend monsters anyway, so that's not that big of a deal. And then three copies of Crackdown. Crackdown is really good in this deck because it lets you go into the Evil Eye Empress really easily because you just activate this card by targeting face up monster your opponent controls and then take control of that monster. And then while this card, while you control that monster, it cannot attack or activate its effect. And when this card leaves the field, destroy this. Or when that monster leaves the field, you destroy this card. Really good card. Um, so that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing three copies of um, Gorgon, the Empress of the Evil Eyed. Um, she is really good in the deck. She she takes two monsters, including an Evil Eye monster, and she gains 100 attack for each Evil Eye card with different names in your graveyard. And if this card is equipped with an Evil Eye of Selene, you can target an effect monster your opponent controls and negate its effects until the end phase of the turn. You only use your effect once per turn, and then once per turn during the next standby phase after this effect is activated, you destroy a monster this card points to, if it does point to a monster. Um, I play one copy of Ruler of the Evil Eye. I never make this, but it's an option. You can make it. It takes two plus Evil Eye monsters, and if it's Link Summoned using monsters with 2,600 or higher attack as materials, uh, it can make a second attack during each battle phase. And if this card equipped with Evil Eye Selene, quick effect, you can target a card your opponent controls and destroy it, and then once per turn, um, 
Once per turn during the next summon phase after it was activated, negate the effects of one effect monster you, this card currently points to, if it does point to something. Then for the rest of it, it's kind of suggestion, um, except for the Super Poly targets and a couple other cards. But Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax is an option that you can make if you steal your opponent's Mavrum. If you, if you take control of your opponent's monster with Crackdown, summon like something else that you want to have on the field. If you have like Gorgon on the field, you have another Crackdown and like an Instant Fusion, you can really easily make this um, so it's an option. Unicorn to bounce stuff, Phoenix to pop spells and traps, Cerberus to pop monsters, um, just options. Link Rebo for the copies of Millennium Eyes and Thousand Eyes, Exiton Knight to blow board if you need to, uh, Millennium Eyes to bait out hand traps, Thousand Eyes to kind of, you know, gobble up monsters. This is your um, your copies of your Super Poly targets, which is going to be your Prita Plant that takes three, Starving Venom, and then Mud Dragon. Mud Dragon is a really good one. Mainly I make Starving Venom, but that's just me. So that's pretty much it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. It's really, really fun to play with. Um, it's a little bit of an expensive deck because of Sarziel, um, because it was short printed when it came out. Uh, when it came out, and I don't even remember what pack it came out in. Like, what pack did it come out in? It came out in the pa same pack as... Um, uh, Infinity Chasers. It came out in Infinity Chasers. Now I remember that. Yeah, but it was short printed in that set, and it was the really searched after card in the entire set. So it was really, really expensive for a minute, but it went down in price. So, anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely hit that down there. Would definitely hit that bell in there so you can come part of the notification squad. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you around, guys.